How y'all doing? Original Gotti's back. I'm here to bring up a topic about what's the difference between Sammy the Bull and Jeffrey Diamonds. Um, can you please hit the subscribe button and like button? Thank you. So, my topic is what makes them different? Like, I mean, they both... I mean, Sammy got more bodies than Jeffrey Diamonds. Jeffrey Diamonds called 17, Sammy called 19, that he told the feds about. Like, we don't really know how many bodies Sammy got. And they gave him a sweet-ass deal the way is he. He's actually a serial killer. Sammy is a serial killer. Like, and it's crazy. You know, he just old. He's, you know, he's 80 years old. He can't really, he's weak. But uh, I don't see no difference in between Jeffrey Dahmer and Sammy the Bull. You know? They both serial killers. They well known. Uh, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer's, I lived that era. I was a kid. I remember that. I mean, it was crazy, you know? But uh, what I really learned from it, like, you know, even to this day, like, you know, we see that situation with Kanye and um, how much power a white man got and how people don't even look at a white man the same way where they would look at a black person or a Spanish person. You know, they, that, you know that's why he got away for with it so long because he was actually pretty smart. He moved into a black neighborhood, white only guy. So, you know, whenever police came, they always believed what he said. And... Oh, he's a white guy. And it was crazy. But, you know, uh, we should be mad, you know, because uh, they killed a lot of people because just because of his complexion of skin. I think uh, it was a fair, you know. I want to give uh, my blessings to the families of Jeff Jeffrey Diamond's victims and Samuel Bull victims, you know, because, you know, no, nobody deserved to die the way they did, you know. It's crazy, you know. They both serial killers. I see no difference between them two. Sammy got two more bodies more than Jeffrey Diamonds. We should make a series about Sammy the Ball, you know? On Netflix. Let him say his side of the story. You know, because everybody made movies, you know, and stuff like that. But they never really got the real truth from him himself. He was locked up when they made all these movies. So I'm very looking forward to see, you know, a movie about Sammy that he actually wrote the movie and what really happened. And you know, and Sammy, stop throwing on John, man. Like John ain't had no balls to do what you did. John had balls. John a killer nigga just the same way you would. He just was the boss. He ain't had to do that. So I want to send a shout out to all my fans. Y'all be good. Original Gotti, all day.